What's up everybody? Yellow. Uh, so I want to do a little tips and tricks uh, video here where I want to give some advice on uh, what we're going to do here is changing the compression cups inside of our MoU cubes. So a lot of people, I'm sure you know this, if you don't, uh, most of maglev cubes from MoU come with a purple compression cup. Uh, some other cubes come with blue compression cups. Uh, some people think that it just matches the internal color scheme or you know, it really doesn't have any rhyme or reason, but there is a difference. And I wanted to show you guys and show you how to swap them if you do want to. Um, so first of all, you can buy an extra set if you do very cheap, a couple dollars um, online. You can get uh, a set of these blue ones. Um, like I said, the what comes in my my YS3M specifically is like the, the cube I'm going to do this to. Um, some other ones like the WRM and whatnot, I believe, come with blue compression cups. It kind of just depends on the cube. But if you pop your center cap, you're going to know immediately. And if you have the purple ones, um, let me just take this out and I can show you guys. But the purple ones are actually shallower. Um, they look visibly the exact same size. But what happens is they actually made a false bottom on the purple one that is thicker let's see if i can get you to even see this so you notice there's like a thick ring of plastic on the bottom of the purple one where there is not on the blue i mean they're the exact same size when you put them next to each other but this one has a lifted bottom so you have less space for center travel or compression or whatever you want to call it but um so that's where a lot of people are switching from the purple ones to the blue ones to give themselves more room to adjust and more adjustability in their for their cube so let's, let's do it um now that we know the difference let's take our set of blue compression cups and all we're going to do is we're going to set set it right into the center um, we're going to take our maglev um, we're going to take our screw and maglev magnets and we're going to test polarity first thing because it's not going to do any good if we put it in with the wrong polarity and one thing i will point out is i did this in a video where we just did a video where we showed how to switch or add maglev to your cubes that was on a standard cube that does not have a magnetic core so there's a little bit of a difference when you have a magnetic core the maglev uh, magnet is going to be repelled from that core and not want to going to want to sit in there so there is a little trick to it and i mean all i do is it's kind of the same trick as i had on the other video is i hold my finger over it and i get the screw lined up with the hole and then as soon as you get it on there boom i don't know if you heard it but the magnet <coughs> pops down to the bottom and this magnet strength is stronger than the core magnets pushing up so um, it doesn't create a problem then um, so now we can tighten this and you might have to this is where you're gonna have to find what works for you because um, it's gonna have more travel so at the same level where the, where the screw looks at the same level as it was with the purple it's going to be more loose which it definitely is like this is very kind of flimsy and um so it'll take this will take some adjustment this will be a definitely and you might find out that you don't even like it um this is not a guaranteed better thing i'm just showing you how to do it um there, like i said there is a difference the purple ones are shallower the blue ones give you more chance to adjust and get have more kind of play and more room for play um so yeah but that's it we now we have our blue uh, compression cup in there uh, completely or it works perfectly no no problems um, again your polarity it's it's not really gonna make uh, you, you don't really have much to worry about because if you just take the screw out and leave your magnet attached to the screw and you put it in with the opposing magnet force you're always gonna be putting it right back in the way it was so you shouldn't have any problems worrying about polarity or anything um, but yeah you just do this five more times and you'll have a completely uh, new cube to try and again, you just take some adjustment to dial that in, um, but it should be good. So good luck, everyone, and hopefully that was helpful. Peace.